at Thanksgiving, my girlfriend, Melinda, invited me over and she said, Randy, you bring the green bean casserole. I freaking can't stand green bean casserole. It tastes like green beans, it tastes like canned mushroom soup, and it tastes like those crumbly onions that you put on top. All three separate flavors that never seem to blend. I said, fine, eventually, she talked me into it. It was either that or sweet potatoes, and I absolutely did not want to do the sweet potatoes. Her version of sweet potatoes is different than my version of sweet potatoes. I came up with this rendition, <laughs> a rendition of green bean casserole, and I'm gonna share with you guys what I did. You guys see me with saws and paint and stain and nails and crap, but we're going right into the kitchen. We have four cups of green beans, sliced onions and cremini mushrooms. The cremini mushrooms are a little more flavorful, so that's why I like the cremini mushrooms. And then I have a few cloves of garlic. These are all on a plate because I'm gonna saute them all together and caramelize them. One thing you really need to do is figure out when you're gonna serve this. Give yourself four hours before your meal. You can actually do it the day before, the first part, and put the crumbs on and put it back in the oven the next day. The way that we're gonna get the flavors to all mesh is through some permeantation time. I know, Betty Crocker says it takes 30 minutes to do. That's why it tastes like crap. Get yourself some olive oil, apple cider vinegar, some wine, Coppola wine. Became my cooking wine. You need some milk. This is my preference. I got some almond milk. And we need our mushroom soup. This is my preference for the onions. Trader Joe's makes some awesome ones. They have a better flavor to them. I'm gonna start by making my caramelized veggies here. Okay, look, I'm not any Rachel Ray. Hopefully I won't cause a fire. To make my caramelized veggies, just gonna take a splash of olive oil and add my sliced onions and cremini mushrooms. Then I'm going to chop up my garlic, crush it, I'm gonna crush it. I like garlic, so I'm putting three cloves of garlic in here. It won't be like you're eating a, a garlic sauce, trust me. And then I'm gonna add a couple capfuls of my apple cider vinegar. Oh, and there's another ingredient I forgot, my soy sauce. I use a reduced sodium soy sauce that I get from Trader Joe's. Come on. Ah. There we go. So look, I did like a th 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 that's my technical portion size that I put in there. There's about five or six mushrooms and a half of an onion in here and three cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna let that simmer until it starts to caramelize. And I will also add my secret sauce here. <laughs> I think I may have went a little overboard on that. It seems like I put too much in. Uh, this has been here for a while, so. I hope I don't die eating it. It actually really smells heavenly. Pretty good. But now I'm adding some butter. You know, butter is one of those things where you know you shouldn't use much. I put a tablespoon of butter, and that just gives the whole caramelization some richness. Oh yeah, that's good. So I've sauteed these vegetables. They're a little dark, but they're dark because the red wine and the soy sauce, when it is cooked out and it becomes a reduction, then it gets dark. So I got my cream of mushroom soup and I am going to mix it in with these caramelized veggies. I am going to add my milk. One can of milk. It's a golden cream color, and I'm just stirring it so it doesn't stick at the bottom of the pan. I have tasted it, but I'm gonna taste it again just to make sure that it's 
freaking delicious. I'm gonna take my green beans here. I'm just gonna add them to this pan. I broke my bigger casserole dish, so I'm kind of forced to use this smaller dish. It's gonna be pretty full. Make sure your oven is set for 350 degrees, which mine wasn't, so gotta do it now. Now all of these green beans get to be poured into my uh, casserole dish. It's kind of heavy, I can't even lift it with one hand. <laughs> Are you learning anything? I am. I'm not gonna go into a lot of what I'm learning, but I'm learning too. All right, so now I'm getting this whole glorious mix, hopefully into one casserole dish. <laughs> Had one little little accident off the side. Oh. I'm gonna just put this in the oven and let it bake for at least a half an hour. So let's hope it turns out yummy. <laughs> you bake it for the first time for at least 30, 35 minutes, then I'm gonna cool it in the refrigerator for about three hours. I just pulled the green bean baked casserole that's cooled off now out of the refrigerator. I have poured some of the onion crumbs, fried onions, that's the technical term. I set my stove to 450 so it's going up and as soon as it hits 450 then I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna keep it in there for 10 minutes. Look at that, that's doing its own thing. It's been 10 minutes, I got my Ove glove on. I'm pulling this thing out of the oven. You just mix these fried onions in and you got yourself an awesome dish. So it's 9, 12 at night and I think I am going to get myself a serving. This is not your mama's green bean casserole. <laughs> For all the other green bean casserole haters out there like me, just try this. Thanks for tuning in. Oh my God, this is so good.